Okay, finally. Oh man. After what, five months of putting down a new floor and cleaning the lab, then I said, well, I gotta make a table, a bench to work on. I had one too many tables in here. So this is it. It's got a leveling feed on there. Some little side rails. Uh, notice all the wood is interlocked. Okay, it's all carved out, interlocking. Look at that joint. <laughs> There's no way you're ever going to remove these boards pinned in there. So, uh, no nails, no screws, no metal parts except for the leveling feet. Just glue. That's it. Now, let me show you the rest of it. Hang on. Okay. Check this down here the cool thing about that is if you're sitting over here it's easy to access all three sides if you're sitting over here you don't feel like getting up you can slide the back under table towards you and then here hold on oh, yeah. <laughs> on here. Nice table, back rail, four foot by three foot, uh, like seven layers of uh, enamel coating on there. I should have just got a roller and some liquid instead of spray. But anyhow, yeah. All right, let's look at that real quick. Nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, but this was a table to work on and to do the project. So, I mean, I still have this table here. Uh, we'll show you more of that later. Anyhow, all right, let me show you the project part now of this table. Hang on. All right, now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Remember I always work with three plates? <laughs> this middle one is fixed. This one is fixed. I can't actually pull them out of here too. I could pull them out. There's a lot of designing on this. I went through different design concepts until I come up with something that's fairly simple but not. It took a lot of thought. There's a crankshaft. There's it a four, four strings. There you go. Two, three, four. And yes, it's on an angle. That's so that that was the whole part of the design too. So that when you wind this up, it doesn't accidentally wind over itself. And then that would change your gap distance so basically guys and I'll show you this in a minute I gotta make a little adjustment all I do is turn that to the right <laughs> these plates come together I turn it the other way they come apart all right I'll be right back I gotta make a little adjustment now I just kind of finished everything so I gotta make a little adjustments in the, in the spacing there uh, I'll be right back and I'll show you this here how it functions Okay, I forgot I had a piece of glass too. Eh, I don't know if I keep it there yet or not. Uh, well, let me show you real quick the lab here. It's a short distance, this is where I come in. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can zoom out. Yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. You got like a good enough space in between. So now I got this table and this table. I can still get rid of this table if I have to. My Tesla coil got lots of room to walk around. Everything is so nice. <laughs> but now, yeah, if I have to, I could have wires come up here across or whatever. But yeah, here you go, guys. Watch this now. Okay. When I turn this, yes, it's a beautiful thing. I can turn it back. And they open up. <laughs> Oh, a lot of designing on this. Oh, works really nice, man. Works good enough. And the thing is, I kept it a separate unit than the table. If I want to transport this or move it to another table, I can. This is just uh, when I do experiments on the middle plate. I could put lights and LEDs here. I'm going to have my frequency generator and that down there. Uh, if I want, I could put things down here under the plates. And then I'm probably going to have my coils, my primary coils, way up here. So, all right, guys, that's about it. Uh, I don't want to run this video too long. The making of the table. The table. <laughs> the apparatus. Yeah. Uh, this is what I'm good at, you know. I, I design things. Uh, anyhow. Up. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, whatever. Uh, love you guys. This is cool. So now we could proceed with some nice experiments again. Yes, finally, after six, seven months. Oh, Merry Christmas. All right, guys, talk to you again real soon. I'll show you another shot of this. As soon as I have all, uh, everything on here. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Okay. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> There's some plates on there. Uh, I don't have anything working yet. I'm still going back on my videos remembering how... I had everything wired. There's so many different ways. Coils sitting up there. Yes. But now I can sit here, adjust the distance between these plates real quick. You know, click over here, adjust the frequency. Oh, it'd be so good. That's my jet heater you hear running in the background. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you. I don't have it working yet, but it will be. It sure will be. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, just a couple more minutes of filming. Just because I love you guys so much. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm just having so much fun here right now. And I'm just starting. I'm just playing. I almost forgot about, about my AV plugs here. You can see it'll, it'll get a lot brighter as I go near it there and touch it, of course. Uh, it's also uh, getting a skin effect from me and then off of the plates here. Uh, I still have to adjust the spacing one more time on there. The knots and the string is settling exactly where it wants to be. Um, let's see. Oh, I didn't even show you. Let me show you real simple. Okay, here's the frequency generator, right? It goes up. Geez, I, I can't believe I didn't show you this, but there's the two primary coils, okay? Positive comes over to one, negative is an equal coil. The positive, all right, comes down to the positive plate, okay? Red wire, it's even marked positive. That one in back there goes down to negative. Uh, where's the wire? There it is. 
same length wires very important too it's all black it's marked negative that middle plate there is uh, the new neutral plate or pickup plate for right now it's how we're doing it for now like I said there's many ways to do this one uh, more than one way to skin a cat as they say <laughs> now this pickup plate see it's just one wire and it's a loop okay it goes to this coil the other end of the coil comes around to the LEDs, 10 white jumbo LEDs, and back to a starting spot. Just one little loop. Now there's an extra little black wire there. Uh, that's that's a floating earth ground. Okay, it's just uh, some old plate that I got. I, I believe it's silver coated copper, but. You know, actually, it's a nice plate. Uh, yeah, here's another AV plug hanging up here. Just two diodes down to an LED. And this uh, black wire is just hanging off one of the legs, just acting as a little bit of, a, again, a floating type ground. Uh, the other end of it is coming over, hanging over, and just hanging above our plates. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of calculations with this that I had to do. <laughs> Anyhow, you can see too uh, now how nice this is going to be now. I'm going to move these plates a little bit in and out. Watch this. Let's see if you could. Uh, all right. Closer. <laughs> the light just went out. Now if I move them, the light's on. Now let's keep going apart. Whoop. <laughs> but now they're, the light's going out again. So see, there is this best spot. And that's why it's so nice to be able to <laughs> quickly and easily adjust these now. Oh my God, this is going to make so much difference. I had to sit there with wooden blocks and boxes sticking in between all the time. But it depends, you know, what the setup is and what that distance is. Everything affects it. Uh, over here now, I don't have these lit yet. Uh, even with the ground, it's not working. And then I said, oh, let's put the... I was going to hook my fault meter up to it. And I put the negative on there. And they all lit up. And my meter's not even on. So I said, all right, so it's the amount of resistance. I put, oh, see, now, now you light up. <laughs> yeah, I probably need more resistance. In other words, I probably add more LEDs on here <laughs> and they'll light up. <laughs> I could also change the coil. Uh, anyhow, guys, so I'm going to end this. I don't want this to go too far. Just showing you. That's, that's the setup for now. You can see how... Uh, it all operates and works and is going to make life a lot easier. I'll be able to fine tune into all different frequencies. And now you can see I'm just applying 12 volts, uh, 2.8 megahertz. Uh, uh, you know, it takes 25 volts to light those LEDs up. So, I mean, right there, that shows you something, but that, that's that's nothing yet. <laughs> We're just playing around getting things set up. So, all right, guys, love you, peace. We'll be back soon with some more good experiments on this now. Ha! Okay, got those LEDs lit now. They're not as bright yet as I'm going to get them. <laughs> just still playing around. Uh, yeah, I had to go to a higher frequency... That's lit down there. Uh, uh, you can see too if I adjust these plates. Uh, lights out. Let's go the other way. Uh, lights on. Lights out. Uh, hey, how nice that is now. <laughs> but also notice now, see. It was kind of a little concerning, too, before when I see this light lit up. It's a great visualization. Once you see what's going on with these... You always want these AV plugs, man. <laughs> God sense. Uh, so that allows us to see... I hope you can hear me over my jet heater. Uh, the, the radiating energy 
and it was a little concerning to me because I'm saying, you know, you don't want to see that light on. You don't want to know that that energy is being wasted and radiating and only collected on one side. So it's almost like this is acting as a vacuum. Uh, you could kind of, as an analogy, you can kind of visualize this top and bottom plates as a piece of dry ice and so the gas is, the smoke is emitting from it and the middle plate is like being this little vacuum that's going <laughs> and even the smoke that's trying to go off the top is still being directed downward. The secret is, is always all the time too, getting twice as much energy is with these coils. When they collapse, the, the, the magnetic, uh, electromagnetic field or the collapse, the energy's got to go somewhere and it creates a vacuum. Now I've had this set up many times before where I'm able to extract the electrons and energy from the earth or from the air. So it means it's on twice as long than that, that light. But anyhow, guys, who knows, right? I could be wrong, I don't know. You want to hear my theories? That's my theory. I've given you my theories many times, actually. Anyhow, guys, all right. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get these brighter. I'm getting a bunch more. I'll show you stuff. This is just the beginning. Woohoo! -hoo! Oh, yeah, one more quick thing. Uh, I'll probably wind up, who knows, I think the best spacing might be the smallest spacing. We'll see. We'll see in the end. And the other thing is, I definitely want to increase the frequencies. I think that's vital. That's going to be vital. Everything I've read and heard over the years from so many different sources, you know, all of that, the energy is in the high frequencies. So we got to get up there. I think that's going to make a tremendous difference also. All right, guys.